If you're looking to move to Clearfield, Utah, and you want a new construction home, you want that new community, but you don't necessarily want the HOA, well, this community right here, Heritage East, built by Fieldstone Homes, you have to check out. Fieldstone Homes has built over 6,000 homes for the past 20 years here in Utah, and their build quality and what amenities and stuff they provide within the home and options available is just incredible. And so we're gonna go check out some of those today. You will want to stay towards the, to the end of the video um, because Fieldstone is offering something that I have not seen with any other builders and it can get you rental income and it may have to do something with an ADU. So you gotta stick to the end of the video to find all the details and how you can get some income and to help you qualify for the home as well as while you're living here, help pay for your mortgage. So stay tuned to the end and we'll talk about that. All right, so Clearfield, Utah is located about 30 minutes north of Salt Lake City and is home to approximately 35,000 people. It is located within Davis School District, which is rated as one of the best school districts in the state of Utah, according to niche.com. Clearfield does have a lower overall housing cost compared to say neighboring Layton City and also Salt Lake City, which does make it a desirable place to live, especially given its location within Davis County. Also, part of Hill Air Force Base is located within Clearfield, which is the sixth largest employer in the state of Utah, which is another reason why a lot of people look to move here. All right, let's get back to the house. All right, so we're out here. This is the model home for the Fieldstone Home Heritage East Community. Uh, this is their Rockwell floor plan with a farmhouse elevation. So you see it has the exposed beams, which is really nice, kind of trendy right now, having exposed beams. You see this house across the street, two of them right there also have it. So they have three different elevations, six different models that you can choose from. Um, each one kind of giving a different look. So here we step inside. So this home is 2,953 square feet, three bed, two and a half bath. Um, that's if you do not finish the basement. But if you decide to finish the basement, you get another bedroom and another full bathroom, um, which would be nice. So you step into the front door. Ceilings here are nine foot ceilings, which makes it always just makes things just open up feel a lot bigger, even though it's still the same square footage, it just opens it up, makes it feel a lot bigger. Nice, they have the iron railings for the stairs. Let's first head over here. Now right off the front door here, you got a coat closet, which is always nice to have by the front door so you're not trekking through the house to go grab a coat if you forget it before you head out or guests, they can come and hang their coats. Continue on, you got the half bathroom right here. Again, nice when you have guests over to have a half bath. Nice. They've got the gold accents. And here on the right is the stairway to downstairs, but we'll go check that out in a minute. As you can see, let's back up. I just kind of like this grand entrance here into the family room and kitchen dining area. But man, look at those big, tall ceilings, lots of windows, lots of light. Which just again, opens everything up. Makes it feel so much bigger. Big, huge sliding glass window. Again, nice open balcony when you go upstairs. Big chandelier. Recessed can lighting up top. Man, they did it right, right here. Look at this, looks like they got a gas fireplace. Nice modern mantle surround tile. So they got the tile. And there's their mantle, but then they went with a wood, kind of gave it that um, whitewashed, white oak look to it. I mentioned flooring here, LVP throughout the main level here. Looks like it's in all of the rooms, including the half bath, 
mudroom area. Nice mudroom area. That's the garage entrance. Again, another area by the front door or by the door to allow you to hang up coats and stuff. Put shoes so you're not trekking it through the house. All right, check out this kitchen, you guys. And the big sliding glass door. Again, just opening it up. Beautiful views. Foggy day out here in Utah today. It is a week before Christmas. Look at this nice covered patio with the recessed lighting. Looks like they may even have some speakers or something up there. That's nice. Again, they've got kind of the nice wood look to the cabinets. Gold accent on the poles. Nice quartz countertops. Let's see if we can show that here. Nice little kind of marble look to it. Nice. Seems like this is a trend to have just a one big farmhouse type sink. No divider. Got the floating shelves. Double ovens. Lots of cabinet space. Oh, and this feature right here, having the microwave down low. So I just helped my parents buy a house. My mom is five feet tall. A lot of homes these days, their microwaves are like above the uh, double oven. And so my mom could not reach 75% of the microwaves. She could not reach or would need like a step stool or something. So it's so nice to have the microwave down low. So no matter how tall you are, you can still access it, all right? Nice five burner gas range with the hood. Again, lots and lots of cabinet space. Pendant lights, gold accents again, keeping with a the theme within the house. Looks like they've got the integrated audio too. So I bet that's not standard, but nice feature to have especially if you're one who likes to entertain, right? Nice, big pantry, lots of shelves. Can never have too much shelving. Goes behind. Beautifully done. Man, I've never been in a Fieldstone home, but, oh, here's a detail. Look at the tile. They went and didn't just do a simple backsplash just right above the stovetop, cooktop, but they just tiled it all the way to the ceiling. That's nice. Nice little detail there. All right, so that's the main level. So we're going to go ahead and head upstairs. Again, the iron rails, they did do carpet. So I went go from the LVP to the carpet to head on upstairs. Get nice open balcony, big windows, lots of light, big chandelier. Man, just kind of look at that perspective when you look from up here. Build stone homes. You're, you're building a quality house. I like it. Okay, let's go. Should we start with the big kahuna, the nice primary master bedroom? So here they go from carpet to LVP in the bedroom. And then you can see across there, they went to a tile. So let's go check it out. Look at this detail. They've got the hanging lights, the paneling on the wall. They've got the tray ceiling. So up out here on the main level, 
they do have eight foot ceilings, but you add that tray in the ceiling and then it just, you add that foot, right? Or eight inches, it just opens up, makes it feel a lot bigger. Again, with the lots of windows, lots of light, again, just opening it up, making it feel big, right? So this looks like a queen bed they've got in here, but two giant nightstands. So you could easily fit a king bed in here. Oh, something I just noticed. They also got the integrated audio up here. That's a nice little feature, especially kind of on these more production builders. You know, they're not like custom or anything. Um, they, they've got some features here that I haven't seen with some other kind of production builders. So that's good. Okay, heading into the master bath. This one, they've got the dual vanity, right? Nice sconce lights there. Look at this walk-in shower. Got kind of a barn door, glass door there. It's got the gold for the shower head, but then you've got the black for the railing and the handle. Kind of a marble look, which is very nice. It does feel faux, kind of fiberglassy, so I'm sure they have options though, right? Okay, then you kind of have a little hallway here that goes to your private little John room, as I call it. Oh, you got a window in there. You don't see a ton of windows in the little private John rooms too often. That's nice. Maybe you'd want a curtain on there, so, you know, especially guys, you don't want to just be hanging out here. Well, there's no neighbors really right there, so you're not going to scare too many people. Big, nice master closet. Nice, and they even got the recessed lighting up here. Very nice. So one thing I noticed, it's just the walk-in shower. There is no separate tub. I'm sure there is an option of having like a tub shower combo right here if you want a bathtub. It's always just something we can always talk to the builder and get, you know, make it the house the way you want it. And that's the nice thing. You can buy like what we call spec homes where the home is already kind of picked out, colors, features of the house is already picked out. Or you can start from dirt and we can just kind of pick out what you want and what's going to you know, to your needs and what your family needs are. So here's bedroom number two. Nice, nice size room. Looks like a full size bed in here. Two nightstands, three windows. That's a lot, a lot of light. Again, just kind of opening it up, making it this nice and bright. Oh, look at this, a walk-in closet. That is nice. Nice walk-in closet, and I think all three bedrooms have walk-in closets, which is nice. Again, kind of a production build, you get those nice features. Laundry room, right here on the main level. That's what a lot of homes are doing, new build homes, are having the laundry where the bedrooms are. So you're not hauling your laundry up or down stairs, and it's just right here next to the bedrooms. This one has built-in cabinets, even has a little counter space with this one. Great, great feature. Whoa, hello. Pushed it one too many times. Okay, and then you can see these washer and dryers that they have here are not on pedestals, but there are, there is space there. So if you have some pedestals with your washer dryer, you can always have that. Okay, let's head down the hall. Got a nice big linen closet. It's not just a single door. This is a double door linen closet. Just very nice. All right. 
Okay, and then you got a full bath here, but it's got the tub shower combo. Let's see here. Nice single sink, but lots of counter space, even though it's a single sink. Nice lots, nice space there. Okay, then you got kind of a fiberglass insert for your tub shower. Again, keeping with the gold accents. Nice, okay, now we'll go check out bedroom number three. Oh, this one seems uh, about the same size. Again, two nice big windows. This one has two big windows. Oh, it looks like there's a third window here in the closet. Very nice, again, just adding all that natural light, right? Again, though, <laughs> probably would want to have some kind of window covering there because you just don't want the world and your neighbors to be checking you out or giving them a free show. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Very good detail, attention to detail. They've got the kind of textured walls. And just kind of look at this again. Just beautiful view. I think in my next house, this is the kind of what I want. I want just a nice, big, tall, open family area. Because I just, I just like that. It just makes it feel so open, so much bigger. Okay, this is the downstairs. So this is an unfinished basement, but one of their current incentives that Fieldstone Homes is doing right now is they will actually finish the basement for you for free or included, right? So this one you can see is unfinished. They also have some different lender incentives that we can go over. I believe it's 1% of the purchase price that you can use towards like your closing costs or rate buy down. Um, storage so here's just a nice big open room so you could probably keep this as just one big large rec room or you could probably wall off this back part make that a bedroom and you see it's rough in plumbing there for a bathroom All right then you'd have a family room or rec room Some different possibilities it looks like they do have it so you would put like a wall here that would go across right and then this bedroom right here could have their own access for the bathroom or for guests you could also use this um, oh actually my guess is actually this turns kind of a hallway maybe you put the wall here and then you put a door right there and then you can have a second door here yeah that's probably how it goes they have uh drawings of what you can do so but yeah so you can add another bedroom another full bath and a whole nother rec room down here very nice So currently out here in the Heritage East community, um, they have, they are selling fast. This community didn't open that long ago and they are selling quite fast out here and they are onto phase two, but I think their phase two is only less than 15 homes. The first phase was over 40 homes um, and there's only a few lots left. There are a couple spec homes um, and then there's also some um, lots available, but then also phase two, there are some more lots available. So if you are interested and you like, this is a beautiful area, beautiful homes. And if you want to come check them out, let me know. 
you just have to reach out, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email, however you want. So we can get you hooked up, come check out these homes, take advantage of these amazing, amazing um, incentives that they're offering. Like I said, speaking of incentives, we are going to go and check out the one incentive that I have not seen yet with any other builders and it can earn you some income and help pay for your mortgage um, and also help you qualify for more house. So let's dive into that right now. All right, an option that is available on three of the mo six models available in this community in Clearfield is the option to add on what Fieldstone is calling a rental suite. Now this rental suite is an ADU or an accessory dwelling unit that is essentially an apartment that is built as part of the house, but actually has completely separate living spaces. The rental suite includes a bedroom, a bathroom, kitchen, its own laundry room, and even its own mechanical room. There's also a private entrance as well as a parking space that is created with the unit. This is incredible option as multiple benefits for not only you, the homeowner, but also for the person or family renting. The ADU allows you, the homeowner, to use the rental income to qualify for the loan and also in turn reduces your monthly payments because of that additional monthly rental income. This ADU option is great because it now provides affordable housing for families in these newer areas that may not otherwise be able to afford to live in these neighborhoods. So definitely, this is an incredible opportunity that I honestly have not seen other production builders offer. So definitely something to check out if you're interested in getting into a rental property. Mm -hmm. 